I have some thoughts on Halo Infinite. Um, these are my full thoughts on how I feel of the game so far, from what we've heard and seen of it. Because Halo is very near and dear to me. Uh, it's one of my favourite gaming franchises. And I just want to talk about it. So, um, Halo Infinite. When it first was shown, the graphics weren't the best. Uh, it was very... Um, it was definitely not what we were expecting, especially in all the marketing of Xbox and... All the insiders like saying, "Oh, Halo Infinite's got the highest budget ever," and then it came out looking like Minecraft, as the memes would put it, and the Craig memes of the still motionless-looking brutes, and uh, those were pretty funny. Like personally, I didn't really mind it, but I can definitely agree. I mean, the game was even being compared to Halo Three in two thousand seven. And Halo Reach from 2010. And, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, it wasn't, it was a massive, it definitely wasn't what we were expecting when it was first released, when it was first revealed back in July of 2020. But now in 2021, we had E3 and Halo Infinite. It definitely improved, like the graphics were like, like, a major improvement, like, that's an understatement, and it looked really good, and it does look really good, I'm really looking forward to it, but now they've come out with news that Halo Infinite will not feature Forge and Split Screen on day one, like, when it comes out, which it still doesn't have a release date yet, but if I had to guess, I'm guessing it's going to come out in November will be the release date, some time around then. Probably the 15th, since the original Halo Combat Evolved came out on the 15th of November, and that was back in 2001, and now in 2021 it's the 20th anniversary of the franchise, so if I had to guess, it would come out then. Um... But you don't know until there's a full day. But it, I still think it's dumb because there was like on YouTube on the Halo channel or IGN or GameSpot or wherever you want to watch it. They come out with like over a 20 to 30 minute like video like just talking about Halo Infinite. And I did really enjoy it because it was nice to see Joe Statham back on there and talking, because I do really like Joe uh, in the Halo community, and the other guy, Sketch, but I do think it's abysmal that for the campaign, once it releases, that you got to wait three, they said the co-op like campaign will come three months after the launch in an update, and forge potentially six months, like, in season passes and stuff like that. Well, seasonal content, not a season pass. It's all free. But it's really stupid. Like, they should, they might as well just delay the game three to uh, six months back, however they need, and just launch it with all the features. Like, I made a video just the other day, talking about it, it's not really the best, like, it hasn't really aged well, um, with my dim footage that I had, and just, yeah, I, I don't really like it, but I'm still going to leave it up, because, um, it, it still shows my thoughts at the time, <laughs> And it is definitely more of a rant, um, and rightfully so, because, like, most games, it is really annoying that they release them half-baked these days. I It's like when I said in my last video, it was better when games would release in full states instead of having to wait months after they release to be updated to what they should have been when they come out day one.
So yeah, Halo Infinite, that has, in that news, um, lessened my excitement for the game quite a little bit, actually, uh, because I was really looking forward to getting the game day one and playing co-op with my friends, so... Yeah, I mean, it was bad enough Halo 5 didn't even have split screen. At least Halo Infinite will, but three months later, they might as well just delay the game three months. Or, since the multiplayer is going to be free anyway, because as you pay for Halo Infinite, you're only really paying for the campaign anyway, really. So... I think it would personally be better then if they want to release something Halo related for the 20th anniversary in November. If the multiplayer is going to be free to play anyway, they might as well just release the multiplayer then, delay the campaign, like the one that you actually pay for until it's ready and it has all the stuff to go. And to tie people over in the meantime, they can just play the multiplayer for free, because it was going to be free anyway. Um, That's what I would personally have done, but I'm not a game developer. But I think that would have... Even though it still would have upset fans, and this news has really upset fans, I mean, I get it, I'm a Halo fan too, massive one, and it upset me too, but they really wanted to put some goodwill to the fans and tide them over, just release the multiplayer in round the time uh, for free when it's Halo's 20th anniversary uh, month season and then just delay the campaign months back so then it can be ready to launch with all the co-op and stuff like that. And yeah, like I don't really have a lot to say because I've already like repeated this in past videos. But I don't really think those have aged well. Like, I hate the video recordings and just the dim lighting and that. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just doing audio only for this one. Um, so, yeah, that's really my main thoughts on Halo Infinite. I am looking forward to this game uh, quite a lot. But at the same time, I'm also pretty disappointed because it's like they're launching a half-baked game, essentially, uh, when they should just delay it so everything's ready in terms of the campaign front of of sides. Um, So, yeah. There is going to be... um, the new the other games come coming as well on August the twenty fourth, so they'll probably show more of Halo Infinite off then. So this isn't this is only my current full thoughts on the game as it is. Um and yeah, I just I, I hope for the best because I love Halo. It's like one of my favourite games as I've said. Um so yeah, we'll see. This is just my full thoughts for now. And let me know what you think if you're disappointed with the direction of Halo Infinite. And not necessarily like the game itself within the gameplay, because I would agree all that stuff looks great. But I mean disappointed in the sense with all the lack of features that they're releasing a half-baked game that you got to wait months for for the full features to be there. So yeah, that's pretty much my final thoughts on Halo Infinite for right now. And yeah, just let me know what you think in the comments below, if you want to. Um, Feedback is always good. Um, So yeah, thanks for tuning in. This is Lone Shadow 64 signing out.